Hey y'all, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Oodles of Brutals. As you guys know from watching my last video, I'm out here in Oregon and I'm sampling uh, the local beers. Uh, so today I'm drinking this uh, uh, winter coat from Stormbreaker. It says here it is a winter warmer ale brewed with blackberry. And let me tell you something, it is tasty, um, it is sweet. And delicious. It's got a pretty decent ABV of 7.5, so it will definitely warm you up. Uh, if you're ever out this way or you can find it wherever you live, be sure to check out Stormbreaker. Today, we are reviewing the new album from Pharmacist. It is called Flourishing Extremities on Unspoiled Mental Grounds. And I'm sorry, I'm getting a really shitty glare on the cover art. Um, I took it out of the case, but it's still pretty shitty, so I will just blow it up so you can actually see what it looks like. I'll pop, pop it up on the screen here next to me. Pharmacists formed in 2020. They are from Japan, and even though uh, they've only been around for a couple years, they're already on their second full length, and in between full lengths, they have released tons of splits and EPs, uh, so they are quite prolific. Uh, in spite of only forming here fairly recently. Uh, they're influenced by Carcass and Pathologist, uh, so definitely a gore grind situation going on here, gore grind slash death metal, uh, but they make the sound their own and they do that through their excellent songwriting and excellent performances. Um, even though they've only been around for a short time, uh, they continue to get more complex with their songwriting, uh, and they continue to improve as musicians as well. Uh, it also should be noted that they continue to get more melodic as time goes on, and I think the new album uh, is probably their most melodic release yet, uh, as far as the songwriting goes, and then on top of that, it features Andrew Lee of Rip to Shreds on uh, guest lead guitar for the solos, um, so, you know, that just ups the melodicism even more. He is also on the recently released Carnal Pollution EP, which unfortunately I can't seem to find a CD copy of anywhere uh, here in the U.S., so I'm hoping some copies show up here so I can pick that up as well, but uh, I have listened to that on Spotify, and it is a great listen as well. Uh, but we're here to talk about Flourishing Extremities on Unspoiled Mental Grounds. Uh, the album is released on CD by Bizarre Leprous Productions in Europe by Severed Records here in the U.S., and then it appears that the vinyl will be released by Hell's Headbangers. I think this is easily the best-sounding uh, pharmacist release to date. Uh, nothing they've released has sounded bad, but, um, you know, they started off sounding very raw. They've continued to get more polished sounding. Um, you know, but at the same time, they avoid the temptation to become super slick sounding. Um, I'm wondering if we might get a heart work out of them eventually, you know, a very slick sounding, very super melodic release. Um, but so far, they've kind of stuck it with a little bit more grittier sound, and I appreciate that. Um, you know, I love heart work, don't get me wrong, but I really enjoy uh, that gritty uh, early death metal, early gore grind sound, and I'm happy to say that pharmacists have done a great job of uh, capturing that spirit, but at the same time, again, putting their own twist on it and making it their own. Um, they really excel at that through their songwriting, and again, as I mentioned earlier, through their performances and through their musicianship. Um, they tend to write longer songs, but those songs are packed with riffs and ideas. Um, one thing I have a problem with with long songs a lot of the time is they don't have enough ideas in them to justify their length, but... Uh, in the case of Pharmacist, they, like I said, they just cram their songs full of riffs and all really good riffs, catchy riffs, riffs that'll lodge themselves into your brain like a friggin' power drill and stay there for days, weeks, months on end. Um, these guys do a great job of creating memorable songs, which unfortunately a lot of gore grind bands don't really do. You know, they, they have that carcass influence, but they don't understand the songwriting mechanics that Carcass had. So that's one thing that really sets pharmacists apart, and I think that's why they've got so much attention here. All the songs are over seven minutes long, but you'll never get bored of them or get tired with them because, again, uh, pharmacists puts, puts so much thought and effort into their songwriting that it will keep you interested throughout. Um, I've listened to this multiple times, and um, it's yet to get boring for me. Um, but that, of course, the same can be said for the previous releases that I've picked up. 
everything they've done has been uh, pretty compelling. If I had to pick favorite songs, um, I'd probably choose uh, Corpus Sonica has some of the catchiest riffs, in my opinion. All the songs have catchy riffs, but the ones on Corpus Sonica for me so far have been the most memorable. Um, I would also pick the title track because I think it has one of the best vocal performances on the album. And also I would choose uh, Nursery Aesthetics uh, because that song also has some great riffs and, and songwriting ideas in it. Um, Overall, this is an excellent release from Pharmacist. Uh, they've yet to put out anything that, that's bad, and I don't foresee them ever putting out anything that's bad if they continue to develop in the direction that they're currently going. Um, just so you can kind of get an idea, again, I've got some wicked glare here, but this is the, uh, this is the cover art here. If you can see it, again, I'll, I'll have it blown up by the time you watch this video. I'm getting some wicked glare. Um, then you've got the... Uh, track list and credits on the other side. Uh, pretty minimalist booklet here. Um, it's got some uh, pretty dark pictures of some bones and whatnot in there. Looks like some bones and corpse guts and whatnot in there. Uh, then of course you've got the CD itself. Boom. And um, on the back here some more looks like a rib cage or what have you sorry about the wicked glare once again and on the back of course the severed records logo track list if you've been into pharmacist or you're, even if you're new to them check out flourishing extremities on unspoiled mental grounds it is an absolutely excellent release one of the best uh, death metal slash gore grind releases of the year so far um, i think it's excellent and i think you will too so definitely check it out until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching and take care. Peace.